how do we allocate marks fairly amongst a team when the team members have put in different amounts of work? This is the team contribution calculator. The team contribution calculator allocates marks based on the relative contribution of each team member. Each team member rates the contribution of the other team members. It's a peer rating system. So let's take a quick overview. Here we have a team comprising four members, Abel Abba, Baker Babbage, Charlie Chu and Delta Darling. Already we see that Abel has rated the contribution of Baker Babbage as first, and he's made the best contribution to the team. Charlie Chu second, Delta Darling three. And as you see, Baker Babbage has rated Abel Abba and the other two team members, and Charlie Chu has rated the other two members. Let's add the final rating by Delta Darling. One, two, three. Now, over here, you'll see a graph. This figure shows the share fraction allocation based on the relative ranking of the students. You'll see that uh, Abel Abba is clearly the best student. Everybody's rating him first. And you'll see that Delta Darling is everybody rating him third. So over here, we see that Abel Abba gets the best mark and Delta Darling gets the lowest mark in terms of the team contribution. What mark does he get? The mark depends on the mark that's been awarded to the team. So the team has presented a workshop presentation. It's worth 65% out of 100. If we change the grade to 70, we see the grades go up slightly. Abel Abba has now got 100%, Baker Babbage and Charlie Chu 75 and Delta Darling has got 25%. How the method works is, the team mark of 70 is uh, multiplied by the number of team members to give a total number of marks available for allocation of 280. These 280 marks are allocated to each team member according to figure one, the share fraction allocation. The top ranking student, in this case, gets 36%. The middle two students have got 27%. And the lowest ranking student has gained 9% of the marks. So these percentages are applied against the total marks available for allocation, giving the table figure two the marks allocated here. Here's another example. Let's suppose that uh, Abel Abba doesn't think that uh, Charlie Chu and Delta Darling were all that uh, strong contributors. He could uh, increase the rating to, say, four. And uh, as you see, the percentages change like this, and the grades like that. But he can, in fact, put a more extreme in value in, such as 20. But you'll see such a high number like this doesn't change the share fraction allocation or the final mark. That is because the, the calculations are done on the basis of the median of the rankings. So first you see that the median of the rankings for this series here is 20, 2 and 3. The middle number is 3. So the median is taking the middle number rather than an arithmetic average. The share allocations shown in figure one are based on the relative rankings of the students. For example, if we take Abel Abba's ranking and instead replace two with five and Delta Darling with 10, and if we replace Baker Babbage with the figure 5 
and this figure 20. You see down here we see the median score is 1, 2, 5 and 10. And another line, the rank of the attribute is 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's these rankings of the relative contributions which are used to determine the share fraction allocation in figure 1 and therefore the final mark. The use of the median and the ranking in this system gets rid of the risk that students mark each other unfairly very high or very low. At the bottom of the calculator you see the calculations for each student. Here are the four students, Abel Abba, here is the ranking, the relative ranking of the students. Here's the share fraction based on their relative ranking. And that gives rise to the individual contribution. There are several alternative ways of doing the calculation. These are shown here. The individual contribution median result. This is the result which is shown in the graph up here. We can use the team contribution calculator to rate a team member against several attributes. Suppose we have attribute 1, we'll call it the output that's generated by the team member. The second output could be the leadership provided by the team member. The third attribute could be harmony and engagement. We've added some uh, ratings between the team members for these uh, different attributes. Now let's just complete the rating for the final team members here. As before, we get a grand total calculation down here. We have the sum of the median ranks for each team member is calculated from the sum of the ranks for each attribute. And as before we have the share fraction calculated which gives rise to the share fraction allocation and the individual contribution. The team can produce several assignment deliverables. At the moment, we've just got a workshop presentation. But we can also add in another output, such as model questions. We give it a grade of 75. Perhaps the weight is uh, 4 marks. Perhaps the weight of this is 16 marks and a video production. Grade of 50, a weight of 10. And the little calculations over here calculate the net contribution from each component and result in an overall percentage for that grade based on the weightings of each component. The team contribution calculator also permits self-ranking by the team members. Select the self-ranking permitted option and change the option to yes. Now the team members can rate their own performance.
If a teacher wishes to use this option to rate the output of their team, then it's simply a matter of uh, deleting the records, and the teacher just pretends to be one of the students and supplies their own rating. Make sure that the self-ranking is permitted in this case.